Good morning and happy day 22 of Vlogmas. We are getting so close to Christmas, I can't believe it. Um, so right now I have my Barefoot Dreams cardigan on. It's so soft. Oh, if you don't have one of these, you need it in your life. It's so soft. I got mine at Nordstrom. I'll try and link it down below if they still have them available. And then the shirt that I have on is from Guess. I got it a while back though, I think at Dillard's. And then I'm gonna show you guys my adorable shoes there. I think I got them at Kohl's, but they're mud shoes. And I found them while cleaning out my shoes the other day. So I know I'm not the only one, but I literally wear the same three shoes over and over because they're so comfortable. And then I forget about all my other cute shoes. And then when I do a clean out like I did yesterday, I'm like, why don't I wear these? So that's why I'm wearing these adorable shoes. So I have to go to Cox, which is our cable company, to exchange my box because we're upgrading to a DVR when Chris moves in, um, Chris and Gavin. So I've gotta go take care of that today. Going grocery shopping with Mama B because we're gonna be making gingerbread men today. It's our tradition to make those. And then tomorrow, everyone's gonna come over to decorate them. And I think we're gonna do like a little bit of a brunch kind of thing. Pretty sure Gavin and Chris are coming. I know my brother is coming tomorrow, so that'll be fun and very Christmassy. And then tonight I'm seeing Mary Poppins Returns with Chris and my parents. It's a double date, and that should be so much fun. So I gotta get going. Let's go, let's go open the advent calendar. Almost forgot to show you guys. Aren't they so cute? They have like a lace pattern on them. You can see my socks, but I think they're so cute and they're so comfortable. They have like a good cushion Happy to them. day 22. Ooh. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this necklace. It's a little Christmas bow. And then there's also little matching red ball earrings. So Christmassy and cute. Okay, let's look at the Atelier calendar. Where is 22? There it is. All right, we've got another perfume this morning and this is the Pomelo Paradise. I also have a few goodies to share with you guys. So first off, Mama B gave me a Christmas present early and it's kind of for Chris and I. So I was on the hunt for these Mr. Uh, Mrs. And so I was on the hunt for the Miss and Mr. Ray Dunn mugs. Remember I got the cute little ornament ones and I thought it'd be so cute to have the actual full size ones and she found them for me. So I have both of those. I'm so excited. I'm still thinking I'm going to pack these up so that we have them for the new house because we have, I left mugs in the cabinet. I'll show you guys. I only left mugs in the cabinet that I'm not planning to keep, like that we're just going to go ahead and donate after the fact. Not those up there. <laughs> but all of these mugs and this glassware, we're, I'm going to be donating a Goodwill if we after we're done with it in six months. So anything that I wanted to make sure to keep for the new house, I've been packing. Um, so anyways, there's the new mugs. And then this came in from Octoly and Sol de Janeiro. I've talked about Sol de Janeiro now for years since they first came out. I absolutely love, love, love their products. They smell incredible, they're extremely hydrating and they feel amazing on the skin. So they just came out with a Coco Cabana cream. And this is an oil and water body cream. And it also, it says 72 hours of moisture. I haven't tested it out because I usually shower every day. So I'm not really sure how I could test 72 hours of moisture out without showering. <laughs> um, but it does feel like it hydrates me all day. And it's the Cocoa Sugar Kissed Scent. You guys, it smells incredible. It smells like a coconut sugar cookie, it really does. And I love this packaging. Look at this beautiful color. The, usually the bottom of the packaging is like the, a yellow color, like the stripe right there. But I love this so much and I definitely suggest it. Um, if you are super dry, I think this one will be amazing for you. And it doesn't take really long to, to sink into the skin. Also, it's made in the USA. So I always like to support companies that are made in the U.S. So definitely grab this because it's amazing. You can find it on Sephora. Dermalogica sent me a PR package. And as you guys know, I went to the Dermalogica um, like location here in Scottsdale, Arizona and had a facial with them. And I, it was such a good experience. And ever since then, I've been using their, um, what's it called? It's like a cleansing balm. 
which removes all your makeup. So I've been loving that. So they sent me a few other goodies. We have a gel cleanser, a daily microfoliant, a pre-cleanse, and the Phyto Replenish Oil, which I think I've used this before, the oil. So thank you so much, Dermalogica. I can't wait to try more from this. I just this wanted one. to show you the consistency of the lotion too. It looks more gel-like, and it look, but it actually has like um, a good fluffy like hold to it, as you can see from the lid. And you guys, I wish you could smell this through the camera. It smells like um, a macaroon. You know the coconut macaroons. Mmm, that's what it smells like. It smells amazing. You guys, it has been a day. Oh my goodness. Everyone must be out shopping, doing last minute things because went to the grocery store with Mama B and it was insanity. Went to get the Cox, my new cable box. And unfortunately it was at Santan Mall and getting into the mall and getting around that traffic took us an hour. It took me five minutes to get in and out of the Cox store took us almost an entire hour to get out of that traffic around the mall. It was so, so bad. Um, and we're not going to cook the gingerbread, bake the gingerbread until tomorrow now, just because of how long it took us to do everything. So now I'm heading back home to get ready for date night with Chris and everybody and my, my parents because we're doing double date like I said and my dad got to, to come home early Chris got to come home early so that's really awesome can you guys hear I'm watching vlogmas and I'm gonna start doing my um, makeup I just finished my hair Chris came in when I was finishing up my makeup so you guys didn't get to see me finishing it up but this is the completed look and then I am wearing this little cover up not cover up what is this cardigan and then I still have the same shirt on from earlier and we're off to see the Mar see Mary Poppins returns I can't wait and I do have these little well, I have mascara on my thumb <laughs> I do have these little um snowman earrings on too. I almost forgot to show you guys that Lauren and Karen from the Two Orchids sent me this really sweet gift. I was not expecting it at all. And it's a really cute little pouch that has buffalo checks. She knows me well with my um, first initial. Babe, can you do me a favor? Will you unzip that? Chris is here. <laughs> Thank you. Man, having a guy around is gonna be handy. <laughs> Ooh, Starbucks gift card. Man, you guys know me so well. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna try to empty this out gently just in case. Ooh, we've got candy. How cute is that? Thank you so much, ladies. This will be put to very good use and you know it. And then I think this is a lip gloss. Ooh, a buxom one. I'm actually wearing a buxom lip gloss right now. This is in the shade Celeste. I don't think I have that. It's very sparkly. Thank you so much. I think that, oh, there's a card in here. So rude. I opened the present before the card. More candy. I'm gonna actually read this on my own. You guys don't get to see, but thank you so much to Karen and Lauren from The Two Orchids. Make sure to go watch their channel too because they're doing Vlogmas. <laughs> We're at the Alamo. You know you can't bring that in. <laughs> I'm about to go see Mary Poppins Returns. I'm so excited. Here's the other one. First off, we will talk about Mary Poppins in a little bit, but we came to Menchie's to have some frozen yogurt. I got tart with Dole Whip and some, I think these are like- Are those croutons? That? That's cheesecake. Yeah. 
<laughs> and kiwi and some kind of like blueberry things that pop. And Chris got like chocolate with syrup and nuts and kind of like a sundae. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back from the movie and we're back from... <laughs> Hi guys. Do you notice that? Wait, sit up straight. I want them to see your haircut. Chris got a haircut. Sorry, ladies. I'm taking. <laughs> Anyways, we saw Mary Poppins Returns, and I really liked it. Did you really like it? I really liked it. We actually all really liked it. My mom really liked it. I think my stepdad liked it. He really didn't say much, but my mom, really, I could tell she really liked it. It was good. I still think the first one was better, but... Well, you can never compare it to the original. You no, know, this Mary Poppins had a different flavor to her. Yeah. I liked the music a lot. Um, my favorite part is with the Learys. Did I say it right? She said it right. Is that right? Um, there's like a, a whole like chorea... Choreograph scene. Thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know. Yeah, the whole choreograph scene that was really good. It literally was like you were watching a Broadway show pretty much. I think a lot um, of those were Broadway actors actually. Mm-hmm. It reminded me a lot of like old school Broadway or old school um, musical stuff. Probably because they're trying to kind of go along the same lines as Mary Poppins, but it reminded me more so of that. I wasn't too keen, and I might, I might get hate for this. I wasn't too keen on the Meryl Streep part in the movie. I actually went to the bathroom at that part because I'm like, and I'm good. I don't really care about this part in the movie. Oh, uh, was that her cousin? Yeah. She, I didn't really like her acting in this movie. I was like... Oh, makeup, eh. makeup artist was good because I didn't realize that was Meryl Streep. He has a hard time recognizing main actors sometimes, though. I recognize a lot of people. I recognize Angela Lansbury and Babe, Big Babe Babe, you sent me a gift the other day and you didn't realize it was the girl from Harry Potter. Yes, it was Emma Watson. But she looks She's like, very recognizable. She and looks like everybody else without her like long... No, she doesn't. Hair. Not at all. Anyways, it's very clearly Meryl Streep, but with, like, orange hair. Okay, <laughs> we're going to let you guys go. I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23. 23.